the impacts of climate change pile up in the extremes. Extreme high temperatures, extreme droughts, extremes of intense precipitation, and extremes associated with high sea levels. This special report brings together experts in three very different areas. One area is experts in the physical climate system. A second is experts in impacts of climate change. And the third is specialists in managing disasters and reducing the risk of disasters. The diversity of the community that was involved in the preparation of the report is one of the most outstanding aspects because everybody brought their own strategies, approaches, and so we have to learn how to integrate them. We have uh, hydrologists, meteorologists, sociologists, people working with paleoclimate, people working with uh, markets, people working with disasters. It shifts the focus toward a more integrated picture of looking at climate and society. Um, only together you understand how some events become disasters and others don't. You don't need a hugely extreme event. You can have a series of smaller events, but it comes in the context of great societal vulnerability. And people are unprepared. People cannot deal with the, the additional uh, stressor that comes from climate. When you actually look at how well are we prepared for the disasters we're already experiencing, we're behind the eight ball now. And that adds a lot of urgency. Evidence of climate change is expressing itself to people in different parts of the world in, in lots of different ways. There's some places in the world where there have been an increase in droughts, especially in southern Europe and Africa. In other parts of the world, there have been increases in heavy rainfall events. We've seen that especially in North America. Climate change is happening. So it is a new dimension that we need to take into account when we are looking at the future development of society, of infrastructure and so on. It's beginning to dawn on people that something is going up, something bigger is afoot. The front line of climate change is right in the backyard. It's also that it happens you know, in 10 other places at the same time. There are lots of things that individuals, communities, and governments can do in order to uh, reduce the risk from disasters and to increase the resilience of the people who are exposed to the extreme events. Dealing with extreme events and disasters is really a problem in risk management. It is highly relevant to have um, alert systems that can help to manage and reduce the risk of disasters. If we talk about reducing our exposure, it means getting people out of harm's way before. A deeper intervention would be if you don't allow people to actually build in floodplains, in, you know, right on the coastal edge. Incorporation of knowledge about the current state of the climate and about projected climate changes can really help countries make better decisions. We know that a lot of the reason that disaster losses have been increasing has to do with the exposure of people and with the vulnerability of communities. You need to take into account physical aspects but also the aspects related to vulnerability and exposure. For progress moving forward, there are real opportunities in effectively integrating what's known about vulnerabilities, what's known about exposure, and what's known about the changing climate. More information can lead to better decisions.